coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show. Television as we know it is changing. We're going to be talking to two national thought leaders when it comes to faith-based broadcasting. Next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, I don't know how old you are, but when I was growing up, there were only four channels. And I think some of them had static, so I, I couldn't see all four. But it was ABC, CBS, NBC, and PBS, Sesame Street, right? And these days, you can look at your phone and look at a billion channels. Everybody who has a phone is now becoming a broadcaster. And what it's doing is it's changing the way we receive and consume information and content. To talk about that today, uh, Jenny Lucky and Adnan Maksud, they are two thought leaders when it comes to faith-based broadcasting, and they're in my studio. Thanks for coming on the show. Absolutely. Thank Honored you for having us. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Well, let's let's start with, uh, with you, um, Adnan. Uh, you have been in religious broadcasting for how long now? Uh, 10 years, been in the religious broadcasting and love every bit of it. Yes. And how has it changed over the years? Like when I was growing up, you know, you would you would see these mega preachers and they would have their shows. How is religious broadcasting changing? So I will say that the religious broadcasting um, nowadays, you know, some of the videos that went viral and made a hit news and, you know, those were not the videos that perfectly done purposely, but like people done it with uh, spontaneous, uh, spontaneous spontaneously they did it and those videos went viral and uh, and made the hit news and also um, the way technology changed we don't use anymore the cameras that you know 20 30 years old sure. uh, cameras supposed to be used but now you were talking about in your intro that if you have a cell phone now you have you know become a network so cell phone and um, now they have a robotic camera so you can just do different things with it take different shots and uh and that made a um, television industry to be more productive, creative at the simultaneous same time. So you can create so much content that can influence so many lives. And we're going to talk more about your new network in a minute. But let's talk about the network that you just left in Houston. We're going to pull up the website. And as we scroll down the website, tell us more about this network that you ran. So this network, I was a GM for Christian Television Network in Houston, Texas. And we reached about 5 million households in the greater area of Houston. And then I clearly and loudly hear, if I can ever hear the voice of the Lord in my heart, that, hey, it is a time for you to launch a brand new television network that is on the cutting edge, has a purpose and passions to not reach like just a 5 million household, but how can we reach worldwide 800 million people? Okay, hold that thought. We're going to come back to you. Yes. I want to introduce uh, Jenny Lucky. She's a good friend, and she just has so much charisma. I mean, we had to dim the lights because you walk in, oh. and the room gets bright. <laughs> so so um, you're, you have your own uh, television network, and uh, yes. Fresh Encounters with God is, is your uh, flagship show. Is that right? Yes, it's our new show that we're doing, and God has graced us with the finances to do it and just to come with all that he has. We're actually going to be on Vision Network with Adnan, and it will be one of his first shows. So we, the whole point of the show is to get in there and give testimonies about God's goodness yes. and what God's doing in the earth. The fresh encounters with God is fresh testimonies. We know in the Word of God it says there's power in the blood. There's power in the blood of Jesus, and there's power in the blood of the Lamb. And there's power in the testimony. So we believe now is the hour to give testimony. Well, not only is she a charismatic television broadcaster, but she's an incredible speaker. I was going through some of oh. your, your clips and I found one that I found very hilarious. Let's go ahead and <laughs> let's go ahead and roll that clip. Y'all, I didn't see it coming. The Lord always has surprises. He sends me places and I don't know. I like, what are you doing, Lord? And I get there and it's so much bigger 
than what I ever dare dream, think, or imagine. And last night as I was sitting there at her table, we're just in prayer. And, you know, the Angela Coast from her home, off in her living room, just uh, presenting themselves. Judy saw it. I saw it. I was like, man, they are like, I mean, a lot presenting themselves. And uh, so much that when I went to the bathroom, she has a mirror at the end of the hallway. And when I looked, I went, ah, I screamed. It was myself. But I thought it was like, I thought an angel was coming towards me. I was like, whoa, he's wearing black. The other one was wearing white. Because yesterday I was wearing black. And I said, man, that's a chubby angel. Anyway, I looked and it was me. And I said, oh, thank God it's only me. And all that's ad yes. lib because I, yes. I didn't tell you I was going to run that clip. And, no. you're, and for the first 30 seconds, I'm watching your face and you're like, I don't even remember this. And I was like, she probably doesn't even remember the one liner that she, you could yes. do Christian stand up comedy. You really could. I think yes, you could. the joy of the it. Lord is our strength. And I think we should have fun. I think the viewing audience, if you're here, Jesus is fun. You know, we make church so ritual, but Jesus was not religious. He was about relationship. And you can imagine. Everywhere Jesus went, he was nothing but a bundle of joy. Mm. Uh, he created comedy. He created joy. So we want to be full of joy. Absolutely. And uh, Edna, you're not so bad yourself. In fact, yes. I want you to set up the clip they're about to see. Uh, where were you speaking? How many people were in the audience? 70,000 people in Pakistan. Mm. Uh, it's a cr mass crusade. It's happening. And uh, we've done a crusade before that. So total 57,329 people gave their lives to Jesus Christ. So. That was wow. a big miracle. Yeah. And I love it. And you're kind of a mellow guy here, but when you get on stage, man, you light it up. So <laughs> yes. let's, let's go ahead and roll that clip. All the way back in the corner. All the way. Somebody in the corner I see right now. Hey, you got to put your hands up so I can see it right now. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. It is not about me. It is not about anybody else. It is the Holy Spirit is right in this place. Wow. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Were you intimidated? I mean, that's a lot of people. Uh, not intimidated, but um, when you have a purpose and passions to reach out to those that who are lost, you know, intimidation is like fly, you know, yes. away or, or fade away, you know, because you are, you know, you're calling, you know who you are in Christ Jesus and you know what you're representing. It's because if it would have been my show, then I would have been probably a little bit intimidated, but, but it was not my show. I knew it was a Jesus Christ, you know, got to be there and it's all about his presence. So. Okay, let's talk more about Vision Television Network. Yes. Uh, how is that going to differ from the, the world that you were just in? So um, when it comes to the media, I, I get it, a niche of the media. I um, also have a degree in marketing. I just got uh, accepted in Harvard for marketing strategy. Congratulations. Uh, it just happened like uh, two days ago. And uh, my thing is like, how can I be up trending a guy in a marketing television network and also media? Because media is the the way of the world that's where the world is heading everything that you know we do from fixing the toilet to the doorknob everything is on video yes. and what we are doing right here is a video so i will i believe the media and the studio jeff what you're doing Thank is you. incredible Thank i just you. gotta yeah. give you that for your way ahead of like so many people are trying or thinking to do but Thank you've you. done it uh but this is what the studios the videos this is the way of the world this is the future of the world mm -hmm. this is where everybody's heading and i believe um, it is going to change so many lives and the way people think, the information now we have at the tips of our fingers. Yes. So Vision Television Network is coming up with the same strategy that how we can tackle some of the marketing, some of the areas in the world that have not been tapped. But how can we go in there and impact life for the good yes. uh, of Jesus Christ? Well, I applaud both of you because, um, you know, a Gallup poll a couple of years ago found for the first time in the history of this nation, um, fewer than 50% of people attend church, mm -hmm. regularly attend mm -hmm. church. And so the unchurched out there, they may not get messages like this. Yeah, They're not right, going right. to go hear it from a pastor. Right, right. So uh, tell us about the show that you're doing and how does that reach the unchurched? Well, we're, we're choosing unconventional ways, Jeff. What we would like to do, we'd like to like set up meetings in coffee bars. 
a mechanic shops. We're going into apartment club uh, lounges, and we are setting meetings up, and we are seeing healings, deliverances, people getting set free in every area. We are prophesying over the people. And so some of the show will be that. It's more um, going after the heart of God for the people. So we know a lot of people, like you're saying, are not going to church. Right. So we have to go where they won't go and invite yes. them to come in to places where they feel free, where they feel safe. And it's amazing the multitudes are showing up. And and I think the world desperately needs some quality programming. I mean, it seems like yes. when you watch the traditional networks, they come out with married at first sight and all of this, <laughs> you know, just these programs that are ridiculous. Wow. Yes. Um, in the little time we have left, I'll give you both about a minute to give your final thoughts. Uh, look into the viewer's yeah. eyes and, and tell them, Adnan, why they need to start following you and, and getting engaged. So I, I think it's very important for in, in anybody to grow into media and also how we can reach the lost world. It is the media is the way. You know, you can spend so much money to go to Africa or Asia, you know, or you can just buy a very nice camera and then be reaching all over the world uh, through the, you know, the lens of the camera. Mm -hmm. Somebody said the camera lenses are missionaries. Yeah. you know that for us so we can reach people we can talk to them communicate with them so uh, if you want to follow uh, vision television network you can go on facebook we have over fifty thousand people following us there and uh, the heart is to design the website also uh, the make it available on uh, social medias and digital platforms and also acquire five satellites that's going to help us to reach two billion viewership so Hey, listen, I'm right now available. If you want to get a hold of me, please feel free to reach out on visionministries.tv. Outstanding. And Jenny, we'll, we'll give you the yes. final word. Yes. Well, first of all, thank you for joining. And I thank you, Jeff, for the opportunity to come. And my brother, Adnan, I thank you for being yes. here. But we would love for you to join FreshEncounters.tv. We want to equip and train you. We want to say from young ages to 2 to 120, we want to be able to say, hey, God is in all of us. There's no junior Holy Spirit. We have seen three, four, five-year-olds laying hands on the sick and seeing the miraculous hand of God move. So we're out there. We want to train you in your authority as a believer and to show you your identity. And when we do that, we want to send you out. So if you're watching the show, it's not about us. It's about you plugging into the heart and hand of God to be his hands and his feet. And we would love for you to join us. And we see this God moving every single day in the streets of Dallas, Texas, everywhere we go. The crusades that we do yes. uh, over in Pakistan and India, we are seeing the hand of God move. It is the end times. The Bible says at the end times, he will pour out his glory on all flesh. And so the darker it gets, the greater he will shine. Wow. Join us. Outstanding. What an amazing sh show. And thank you for uh, sharing your hearts with us. We're going to end with both websites. We'll start with Adnan's website, um, which is... Um, visionministries.com I'm sorry visionministries.tv and then finally uh, Jenny's website is freshencounters.tv yeah. thank you both for coming on the show thank you Appreciate absolutely you. Thank you. it's an honor you bet that's it for now we'll see you next time